Hi there, I have supported YouTube since 2008, and while I have enjoyed being a member of the YouTube community these long years, this platform has made it clear that they do not support freedom of speech, diversity of thought, or honest scientific discussion. They have made it obvious that they would rather spend their effort on censoring voices of dissent rather than more pressing issues, such as preventing this platform from enabling totalitarianism and child exploitation. As a result, I am transitioning my content to Odyssey. So if you enjoy and appreciate my content, but are wondering why I do not upload as often as I used to, I would encourage you to follow me to Odyssey where you can find much more of my content on hobby interests and life in general. The link to my Odyssey channel should be in this video's description. Thank you for your understanding and I hope you could join me in helping increase the hobbyist community on Odyssey. And the uh, one six scale self be mini six. And I have uh, done a bit of red here. This is going to be for the gloves. And now I'm going to be going over it with uh, the, the fluorescent um, uh, Gaia Notes paint. So what I've done is I've used the uh, red here and uh, fluorescent pink and actually a little bit of fluorescent red as well. I'm going to begin I'm dumping this in my airbrush. Let's see how it uh, sprays. So I don't know if you ever uh, use V color, but uh, if it's really uh, thick inside, if it's getting dried out, you can easily reactivate it with a thinner, and uh, the, it, 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 it does a really good job at uh, reactivating. So I'm gonna go back over with glass black. I'm gonna mix this up. Give it a shot. Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to use my fingers to uh, to mask this. It should this suffice. Cobwebs again. I hate that. That parting line is more or less gone. It's just barely visible. I guess I'm unsatisfied. Hmm. I just want 
Okay, so I thought I was recording just now. Just now. Okay, uh, the color fourth blue. I'm gonna be very careful. This is name is uh, Sky Blue. This is the color 13. I've uh, used this paper towel with masking off. Let's just uh, give this give this a shot. Okay, maintain pretty nice gradation. She's looking pretty nice. It looks like I got a tiny little bit of blue uh, under spray there. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can do something about that. But otherwise, she's looking pretty nice actually. I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. be a line. That's, that's actually, uh, that's not paint. That's just a, like a mold, molding error or something. Kind of strange, actually. some glow dark boots because I mean hell who doesn't have a glow dark boots right I mean I do as well as everybody else I know and respect well this is a blue steel Apolgio luminous red and uh, this is by Dianos this is the same glow dark paint I was using 
for the other crap. So, uh, let's get started on this, huh? Let's see how this goes down. Okay guys, let me uh, dim the light here. I keep, it's pretty dark in my room here. And check this out, ooh, ah, black light. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so uh, this is the red. And up here, the, these two are the pink. All right, can you see my finger? These two here are pink, and this white, and then white. And the red is glowing rather nicely. And you'll see here, like her panties, for example, do not glow because it is not fluorescent. All right. So this is working out nicely. I, uh, as you can see, I have uh, peeled off the masking. And it, for the most part, it's pretty good. I'll have to do some touch-up, though. So look at that. It's, it, like, it freaking just glows. Look at that. Freaking awesome. It's awesome. Ah, so nice. So, yeah, and I don't have it on her skin at all, right? So that's good. But, yeah, shoot, that's awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to have a bunch of black lights shining on her. And that's uh, going to be pretty cool. I do hope it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, so, yeah, even after I build her, She's not even going to be done, right? Because I have that the whole stage to to wire up somehow and, and uh, do that. Um, so, now, uh, uh, all right, so I think I showed in like the first episode of this build or whatever. There's this big ass hole here and it has like this, like a, like a thing that hugs her, her waist and, yeah, no thank you. So, Instead, what I did was I put this in here like so, you know, and it's cool because it says, you know, Macross, etc., etc., and I like that. I'm just going to ignore this, or maybe I'll fill it in. I, I don't know. Well, all right, so what I'm going to do, I got this uh, wave rod here, this uh, pipe, copper pipe here. See that here? So what I want to do is putty this crap here and make it so that uh, this it's not going to wobble at all. His panties are awesome. I love my friend Gary. He's so great. He is great. I couldn't have done that without him. So, uh, if you saw the unpainted version, I mean, it's, it's mostly just the, the bare vinyl, but what he did was he built up around the edge here the the putty so like this here is just normal and then it's just on the outside and like the the creases and such to, to really bring it to life that, that's really great so it doesn't it's you know the end result is it doesn't look like it's like really thick panties or something stupid like that so that's uh that's great I will need to paint black because the t the boots, the top of her boots are black, and that's also why I didn't care too much if it wasn't perfect when I I masked off around here because that's gonna be black anyway. So nanny nanny boo boo, and stick your head in doo doo, and so yeah, this is gonna have to be putted in. Uh, I might I might work on that next. But yeah, this is just gonna be cool. And oh shoot, that's right. So it's called like like the dog big dogs greetings. I got this on eBay. And again, my friend Gary he told me about this. I got this uh, sound card thing. And because I'm a spaz, I must have lost that USB 
cable that this goes to. Uh, I can't find it. I, I hate myself because I don't know where it is. In the end, though, like, this thing works with Windows XP and Windows 7, but not Windows 10 somehow. <sighs> Whatever. I don't even have Windows. I have Linux because I like to feel better than than everybody else. I, I, I like the... Um, I, I feel empowered to, you know, uh, look down my nose at every, everybody else who does not have Linux because Linux is awesome. And if you don't have Linux, then whatever, dude. Right? Don't come whining to me if you, because you suck. Anyhow, um, so even if I had Windows, I, uh, that software, I don't think it even really works. Some people... Their website says that it, some people have gotten it to work, but I'm not going to hold my breath. So this whole thing could possibly be all for naught. Now, it has five different buttons, and I could have up to like 40 seconds each or something like that, or 20 seconds each, I can't remember, assuming I can find the USB interface. But, whatever. I have, like, a SSD card, and I was planning on uh, installing Windows on there anyways, because um, I do want to have just, a, like, a spare hard drive with Windows installed on it to use on occasion. Uh, especially for, like, uh, those, uh, you know, hacking, the like, the, the Mega Drive Mini or the, the PlayStation Mini, that kind of stuff. It's all I really need it for. So, anyhow, uh... I'm rambling. Um, I don't know if, if I'm going to be able to use this or not. Kind of sucks. So even if I did have Windows, it might not even work. So maybe I can do like Windows 7 on a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with that. Anyhow, uh, yeah. So I guess that's it for here, and I'll just uh, figure out what I want to do next. Yay! I put a little mark right there to see how deep it's supposed to go. Let's see how this works. There. There we go. Okay, twist this. Mm. There we go. I like this tool. This is Semadyne's epoxy putty for plastic. Uh, my little spatula guy. There we go. get this wet maybe it'll uh, cut through here more easily there we go all 
This is kind of crusty. I'm not going to use that. Get that wet. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna need this up. Let's see what we can do. Alright, I thought I was recording, but I, I, I messed up. Well, I put the putty on here and that little uh, the copper pipe into the, the copper rod there. There. So, I'm going to have this kind of leaning up against her. So that way... Oh, you know what I should do, actually? Shoot. What I should do is just temporarily attach her boot there. There! Okay. Yeah. There. That should hold it. The other thing I did was... Ah, uh, see, now this is coming undone here. Uh, I need to putty this in here. Okay. Alright, this is Guy in Notes, color putty, white. I think I had done a, a flesh colored once upon a time, but I don't... I haven't, I don't know, they, they have it sold out at the very least at, on Yodobashi. That's the first place I looked, but let me uh, zoom in here. Let me... This is basically just colored super glue. Okay. I'll sand that down. I'm gonna let this dry. I'll sand it down, and uh, should yeah, should hopefully uh, act as both a super glue and putty at the same time. Mm. Flesh color would be pretty handy, I think. I don't have flesh color. All I have is white and black. Never got any other colors. Got the plastic putty. And I'm using my little Gaia Notes uh, tool here. A little rubbery thing. Smoothing down the, the stuff here. And it looks like might need to put a little bit more on there. And then I'll have to go over this with the V-color flesh again. I'll just cover this up with like just a little, like a towel or something. I don't have to mask this off, I don't think. It should be pretty easy. If I hit it with the airbrush at angles, it should be all right. 
just like I did with uh, other stuff, stuff and things. Hmm. Cool. You know, just to uh, go slowly. Let's give this a shot. I just realized that there's a parting line. It goes like right along here. <sighs> I never noticed that until just now. Let's see how well this turns out. Make sure, that, yeah. line that is still visible. If I can do something about that line, but this line is not quite invisible yet, so uh, I think I'm gonna have to just come back to this after this paint dries. Work on it some more. It's even more telling right there, unfortunately. Don't like that. Don't like it. I think that looks a lot better. It's just barely kind of noticeable, a slightly bit of a line, but I think I think I'm good with that. I I, I think I'm pretty pretty well uh, okay with that. Uh, let me uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, all right, I guess I'm done with that. Cool. Mr. Hobby Aquia Silver. I'm going to carefully paint the microphone here. Be careful in here now.
Right, I'm moving on to H12, flat black. Although, you know, yeah, I guess I'll do flat black. So I am pretty much done, I think, with the painting, and I'm going to finish this video here. So next is going to be assembly, and then that's going to be the next video, and then eventually I'll figure out how to rig the the, the concert scaffolding and such, the, the, the trestles for lighting and such. So yeah, stay tuned to this channel and you'll see what's coming up next. Thanks for watching. Bye.